Welcome to the DDBA 8438 Week 2 Application Video Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the following major components of the application assignment. We will cover importing the main data set. We will address how to add a new ordinal variable to the existing data set. We will cover how to create a new variable using the transform command. We will create a line graph. We will cover the procedures for conducting a bivariate regression analysis. And we'll conclude the tutorial with a presentation of APA results write up. Let's begin by importing the main data set again. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to import the main data set again. And if you recall from last week's video, I click on File. You then go to Open. You then go to Data. And you'll get the Open Data dialog box. And at this point, remember, SPSS normally opens with the default SPSS file, which is represented by a .sav file extension. So the first thing we want to do is to change that so that it's going to read an Excel file. Now it's a matter of going to the location where you have your Excel file saved. I happen to have mine saved in my desktop and as you can see here is the DDBA 8438 data set with the Excel file extension. I'm going to click open. Now once again, when we have the opening Excel data source dialog box, we have to identify the range of the data that we want to import. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have the read variables names from the first row of data selected. This will allow the variable names to be brought in automatically. You then go into the range area and then you simply type A1 colon and this time we're going to go to cell J52. This is going to allow us to bring in the entire data set. You click the OK button. And what will appear will be the entire data set. Remember, we scroll down, we see we have 51 records, so we know we brought in the right amount. And the 52nd row, or why we selected um, A1 to J52, is that the site, the site supervisor, basically all of the column headings have been automatically brought in. If that item is not selected, you would have to go in to SPSS yourself and put in the column headings. So just be sure that you make sure that that is selected so that the entire data set comes in. Okay? So again, make sure that you import cells or range A1 to J52. And this concludes the portion for importing the main data set. I'm bad. I just successfully imported an Excel data file into this SPSS thing. Yes, you are bad. Okay then, well let's move on and let's create a new ordinal variable. Before we create the ordinal variable, um, let's just have a quick recap of what an ordinal variable is. First of all, there are four scales of measurement to your data. In other words, each data will have a different set of properties. Um, and they are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Um, we will only address the ordinal variable now because that's the one that you have to create. 
However, um, a simple Google search on scales of measurement uh, will bring up a plethora of research um, information where you can get a more detailed explanation of the scale of measurements for uh, variables. So when we talk about an ordinal variable, um, we will put subjects in some rank order. Uh, think about the example that we're going to do. We're going to rank the supervisors in terms of their experience, where their experience is measured in the number of years. And again, these number of years are categorized. Remember, we took from zero to five years, and we're going to call that low. From six to 10 years, we're going to call that medium. And from 11 years plus, we're going to call that a high level of experience. So again, in our data set, we're going to identify each supervisor as either low, medium, or high. And at this point, we're just going to create an ordinal variable. Again, medium will be from six to 10 years. And later on, you'll see one of the processes that we'll do is we'll actually recode these variables in another step in our exercise. So in other words, we'll first create the variable and we'll type in the words, the string characters, either, either low, medium, or high for each supervisor in the column that identifies their years of experience. However, we will then later on go to recode the data and I'll talk about that a little bit later. And again, the high category is going to be 11 plus years. Now, you'll see I have recoded to 2, and that's a typo. So that should be recoded to 3. Now, an ordinal variable, it ranks them, but it does not tell us exactly how much they differ. For in other words, if we put a supervisor into the low category, he or she could have anywhere between 0 and 5 years. We don't know exactly how many. So we don't know... Um, if one subject differs from another in that category. One subject may have two years of experience and the other one may have four years of experience. But we have categorized those into one category called low. So we don't know how much the subjects differ. All we know is that one subject has more or less years of experience than another. Again, these are characteristics of an ordinal variable. Um, you may be more familiar with um, a Likert scale where you have taken some survey and they've asked you some question and you had to uh, score it with some numerical variable um, such as one equals somewhere degree, two equals degree, three strongly agree, etc. Again, that's an ordinal scale of measurement. There is some ranking or hierarchy of more or less, but we don't know exactly how much that difference is. In other words, how much different is somewhat agree from agree if you think about it subjectively? It's very difficult to pinpoint an exact measurement or an exact measurement uh, magnitude of difference. Again, these are the key characteristics of an ordinal variable. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's create this ordinal variable that's in step two of the week two application assignment. Now, the first thing you want to do is go down to the variable view. And you'll see that uh, all the variable names are listed in this column. We're going to create a new variable and we're going to call it experience. So you can easily do that from the variable view by just going down under operations and clicking, double clicking, and just typing experience hit the return key and you'll see that it creates a variable called experience and it also puts some default information for all of the <clears throat> column data. Now it needs to be made an ordinal variable. So the first thing that you want to do is go to the measures column and you'll see that we have some variables already that are nominal scale variables but you go down to the experience variable and you click in the right corner and you simply make the selection for ordinal. And 
you are now done. You've actually created a variable called experience by typing the name and then going over to the ordinal column, to the column for measure and typing ordinal. Now we're going to go into the data set now and then populate the data set with following instructions for step three. So if we go back down to data view, you'll see that we have each of the supervisors and notice that for each supervisor, we're going to put them in either the low, medium, or high category. Now let's take a look at something. Notice that the experience variable is all the way to the far right. Wouldn't it be a lot easier if when we scrolled over to supervisor that the experience variable would be right here so that we could easily type in the information as it corresponded to each supervisor? Well, you can easily do that. You go to variable view, and the way that I like to do it is that I just simply click on the row and then just drag up until it's right up under the supervisor, and now you'll see that I have supervisor and then experience. Now, if I go back to data view, you'll see now that the supervisor and the experience is right next to each other, and this makes it a lot easier for me to look on the sheet and type in the level that that supervisor belongs in. So, for example, it says Boston 1 should be in the low category. So, if I go into the experience and type L-O-W, hit return. Now, you notice that it didn't take and I did that purposely. Why didn't it take? Well, remember, these are characters. These are strings that we're typing. In other words, letters. So let's go back to variable view. And even though we, we changed it to ordinal, notice that it's a numerical variable. So let's click in the right corner and let's make it a string and hit OK. So basically now we've created that variable, but we've given it a string type and we've given it, okay, I changed it there. I'm going to go back to ordinal, okay? So it's a string and it's ordinal. So let's take a look at that again. It's a string and it's ordinal. Now, if I go back to data view, I'm going to start inputting my data. Now, it says Boston 1 would be low, so I would type low, hit the return key, and you see it takes. And then I would just follow this process. Boston 4 would also be low, so I could go to Boston 4 and type low, hit the return key. Now, an easier way to do this is to just simply highlight the low, right-click, copy, and then go down to each one and paste. So let's say Boston 7 is low. Boston 10 is low, etc., etc. And then I just go on to fill this column to correspond with what it's stating for us to do in step three. Now I'm not going to do all of that for sake of time, but again, you just make sure that you're aligning and that each Boston supervisor, each Phoenix supervisor, and each Seattle supervisor is identified appropriately with their years of experience, okay? And so now that's how we created the ordinal variable. So again, we started in variable view, we typed in the new variable name, and in this case, it was the last row that we put it in. We identified it as a string, and we made it an ordinal variable. After we did that, we then dragged the variable up to the supervisor area, so that when we look at it in data view, it is right next to the supervisor. You can also move these variables around just by clicking inside the data view, left clicking, and then just moving to the right or to the left. Excuse me. So for example, you see I've moved experience over now one column. I can move it back again to wherever I want it to go in any column. You just got to play with where you drag it at and where you drop it. So either way, you can do that from the data or variable view. And that shows us how to create an ordinal variable titled experience.